Whether it's a coin, whether it's a round, or whether it's a bar, silver is silver at the end of the day. But hopefully this video will help you decipher which of the three you want to focus on. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're feeling well, doing great, and staying safe. Today I want to talk about and compare silver coins, rounds, and bars. Which ones I prefer over the others, which ones typically have a higher premium, which ones are more recognizable worldwide, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But here in front of me, I have 60 troy ounces of silver. I have 20 one troy ounce silver coins, 20 one troy ounce silver rounds, and two 10 troy ounce silver bars. So 60 troy ounces of silver sitting here in front of me, a third of which coins, a third of which rounds, a third of which bars. Now I wanted to go through some of these today and talk about the pros and the cons, talk about what areas certain ones are better than the other ones and how they could potentially fall short, depending on what your focus is, depending on what your goals are when it comes to stacking and or collecting. Now, before I even get fully into this, I wanna talk about how I store some of these. When it comes to bars, I leave them as is. Of course, I took this one out of the plastic wrap that it came in, but for the most part, I leave them in the plastic and that goes for the smaller denominations as well. If I receive them in little plastic wraps or whatever, I keep them in there. When it comes to the rounds, I get these really cheap tubes, little medallion tubes. You can get like a 10 pack for just a couple of bucks. I'll link it in the description if anybody needs any. And for the coins, I get mint tubes. Now if you get 20 at a time, normally on most sites you would get a free tube with it or you can just order a couple empty tubes and little by little work on filling them up for just a couple of bucks. I'll leave that linked in the description as well. So when it comes to the coins, over here I have some silver eagles. This right here is my favorite silver coin, my favorite one troy ounce, three nines fine, pure silver coin. Not only is it my favorite, but it just so happens to be the coin of my country. I am lucky and fortunate and blessed enough to be an American. And this just so happens to be the pure silver coin of my country. So this is pretty much the foundation of my stack. It's been for just about three years now. I have more silver eagles than any other coin out there. Not only do I believe it's the nicest looking coin, but I think it's the most recognizable and desired sought after coin on the planet. Now, don't get me wrong. The Maple Leaf, the Britannia, the Libertad, I think those are all tied for second place. But the number one most recognizable pure silver coin out there, most popular, most recognizable, most desired, most wanted, would be the Silver Eagle. That's just the way it is. So fortunately... The foundation of my stack is the coin of my country. If I lived in Canada, the coin of my country would be the maple leaf, in which case that would be the foundation of my stack. If I lived in Mexico, it would be the Libertad. If I lived in Austria, it would be the Philharmonic, etc., etc., etc. So the pro when it comes to silver coins, regardless of where it comes from, the pro would be the notoriety the ability to recognize it. It's trusted, it's respected, no matter where you go. And that goes for all silver coins. People know that they can trust it because it was minted by a sovereign government. Especially coins that have anti-counterfeit technology and security features implemented. When it comes to the Silver Eagle, that's not the case, but starting in 2021, that will be the case. When it comes to silver rounds, very similar to a coin, it's just a circular 
piece of silver. They're both pure silver. They're both a troy ounce. But the difference between a coin and a round is rounds are typically privately minted. They are not minted by sovereign governments. They do not have face value. This is not a $1 coin or a 50 cent coin or a $10 coin or anything like that. This is not a coin. It looks like a coin because it has the silver eagle design on one side, but this is not a silver eagle. Same thing go for any other round that I have. This one right here, one of my favorites. Honest value never fails. Technically, even though it's silver, it doesn't have currency value attached to it. So in the eyes of someone who's looking for government minted coins, the rounds, and also the bars by the way, are just simply pieces of metal. Beautiful, valuable pieces of metal, mind you. But they might not be as recognizable. No matter where you go, everyone knows the Silver Eagle. No matter where you go, everyone knows the Silver Maple or the Britannia or the Philharmonic or the Kangaroo. These are coins that everybody is familiar with. And a lot of people trust them, respect them, and want them. When it comes to the Silver Rounds, of course you can test them. Of course you can prove that they are, in fact, real or authentic, but the question is, if somebody is unfamiliar with this season's greetings silver round, they might not want it. If somebody is unfamiliar with this Florida Strong, Hurricane Irma relief fund round, they might not want it. Now trust me, just because one person doesn't want it doesn't mean that you're going to have a difficult time parting ways with it. Silver, silver at the end of the day. It really doesn't matter what it is or where it comes from. It's all silver. This right here, no matter what, this will always be. 20 troy ounces of silver. This right here will always be 20 troy ounces of silver. This over here will always be 20 troy ounces of silver. Nobody can take that away from you. That's just what it is. Silver is silver at the end of the day. And if somebody wants the silver, it doesn't matter if Santa Claus is on it. It doesn't matter what it says or what picture or who whose image is on it. It doesn't matter because silver is silver. Now, when it comes to the silver bars, here's where things get a little bit interesting. The silver bars are nothing more than a rectangular shaped silver round. Rounds and bars, synonymous. Same thing, different shape. Obviously, different sizes too. I don't have any one troy ounce silver bars on me. But a silver bar is just a rectangular shaped silver round and a silver round is just a circular shaped silver bar. That's all it is. They are both privately minted, just silver. Pure silver, one troy ounce, 10 troy ounce, five troy ounce, a kilo, whatever it is, it's still silver. The funny thing about silver rounds and bars is that they're the same thing, different shape. That's all you really need to know. Now, of course, there are certain instances where you could come across a rectangular-shaped coin. Australia has one, for example. The Australian bar-shaped coin. It's rectangular. It has a dragon on it. You flip it over, and it says one Australian dollar. That would be a coin, not a bar. Yes, it's rectangular-shaped, but it's government minted, it has face value, it's legal tender, it's a coin. So a coin doesn't need to be the same shape as this silver eagle right here. If it's government minted, face value, it's a coin. So that's a funny thing about rounds and bars versus coins. It's not even so much 
coins versus rounds versus bars. It's more so coins versus rounds and bars because these are same thing in my eyes. No different, just a different shape. But coming around full circle back to the coins, the funny thing about coins is that, yes, of course they're money. It's silver. If it's made out of silver or made out of gold or just made out of a precious metal, it is money. Real, true, honest money. Constitutionally recognizes money. Biblically recognizes money. Internationally recognized as money. Silver and gold, they've been considered money for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Money, 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 except this has some currency attached to it. So it's money and currency at the same time, which is quite odd if you think about it. I wouldn't recommend using this as currency, as you can see. The bottom, $1. This is a $1 coin. I wouldn't recommend taking this to the dollar store and trading it for something on the shelf for a dollar. I would not recommend it because the actual value of the silver exceeds what the face value tells you that it's worth. And another strange thing about coins is they don't always have to add up. For example, this is a one troy ounce silver coin that says one dollar. What about half dollars? What if I got two half dollars? They're each supposedly worth 50 cents, but what if I got two of them? By face value, it would be one dollar. Same thing as the Silver Eagle. So going by currency, they're the same thing. But what happens if we go by money? The Silver Eagle is a one troy ounce silver coin. The two silver half dollars equate to just about two thirds of a troy ounce of silver. One troy ounce, two half dollars would be about two thirds of a troy ounce. Two thirds of the amount of money as this right here. But if you go by face value, they're the same. That's why I said, it doesn't always add up. A lot of people like to say that they're picking up $1, $5, $10, $20 face value worth of 90% junk constitutional silver. That's an easy way of measuring it. I've never heard somebody say they're picking up $1 face value worth of silver eagles, a.k.a. one coin. So, money makes sense. Currency, not so much. These pieces of money have currency value. You could technically take them to the store. I could take all of these to the store and buy something that's worth about 20 bucks. I could do that. I have 20 coins that each say $1 on them. I would not do that. That would probably be the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life if I were to do that. Considering each one of these, according to the spot price right now, is worth about 24, 25 bucks. And you're probably gonna have to tack on a little bit of a premium. And with 2020 being the year of the chaos, the premiums on these are much higher this year than they were any year in the past. So you could probably part ways with this thing for about 30 bucks, even though it says $1. Says a dollar, regardless of what spot price does, if spot price were to completely collapse and go down to a dollar, which would not happen, but hypothetically, if spot price ever fell down to a dollar, this would still say a dollar. If spot price were to go to, let's just say, $75, this would still say a dollar. Face value doesn't change. Currency doesn't change. Even though little by little by little, currency gets weaker and weaker and weaker, silver stands strong. Whether it's a coin, whether it's a round, or whether it's a bar, 
Silver is silver at the end of the day. But hopefully this video will help you decipher which of the three you want to focus on. Or potentially, maybe you want to focus on all three, coins, rounds, and bars. That's what I do. When I first got started stacking, I was strictly going for silver rounds. I had noticed that even though coins and rounds, same size, they're both a troy ounce of silver, the premiums on silver rounds were significantly lower. Well, at the time, just a little bit lower. Now they are significantly lower because, like I said, 2020, year of the chaos. But when I first started stacking silver, the premiums weren't too different. But they were lower on silver rounds. And the reason for that is simply because the silver rounds are not as recognizable, trusted, desired, sought after as coins. As I said early in the video. These have a layer of safety, security, being that they are government minted. If you wanted to replicate a silver round or a bar and pretend that it's authentic and exchange it for cash, that would be a very unethical thing to do. That would be a very wrong thing to do. That's not right. But if you were to replicate a coin, it's not really necessarily referred to as replicating, it's referred to as counterfeiting, which is not only unethical, but it's very, very illegal. Hence why silver coins are typically viewed as safer. Now, don't get me wrong. Are there still idiots in the world that try to counterfeit coins? Yes. Stupidity will never go out of style. But they're typically viewed as safer due to it being very, very illegal to counterfeit a coin. So if you want to pay a little bit higher of a premium to feel a little bit safer, makes perfect sense. That's why I spent most of these last three years focusing on the silver coins, predominantly the silver eagle, with the silver maple being second in command for my stack. But if you believe that silver is silver, regardless of how safe or secure or desired or recognizable or trusted the piece is, and you just want to get as much physical silver content in your possession as humanly possible for the lowest premium, rounds and bars would probably be the way to go. Which is why this year, I've been going back and forth. I've been picking up some silver rounds, some silver bars, some silver coins. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. At the end of the day, as I said before, silver is silver. It does not matter all that much to me. If I had to choose, I would go with the coins. But with premiums not really making all that much sense this year, I've been leaning more in the direction of rounds and bars. That's what I've been picking up for the most part, along with some 90%. That's what I've been pretty much doing the last couple of months, with the exception of a couple coins that I picked up, mostly just for fun. Queen's Bee, Silver Kraken, whatnot. But other than that, I'm not necessarily laser focused on anything in particular. I'm not going after coins, rounds, or bars. I'm going after whatever I can get my hands on for the lowest possible premium right now. And when there's a sale or a discount going on, maybe I can get a coin for a smaller dollar amount than I can get a silver round or bar, in which case I'll go for the coin. But if that's not the case, I'm probably going to go for the round or the bar. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. If you could only pick one, if you had to go for only silver coins, only silver rounds, only silver bars, assuming that they're all, let's just say, one troy ounce, three nines fine, silver. Which would you go after? 
Coins, rounds, or bars? What's your preference when it comes to the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold's on sale on a bunch of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500 and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know between coins, rounds, and bars, what's your preference? If you have a preference, maybe you're stacking everything you could possibly get your hands on just because silver is silver at the end of the day. But I think we all probably do have a preference. And... Not only do we have a preference, but I've gone through times where I've switched my focus, especially early on when I didn't 100% know exactly what I was doing. Like I said, when I first got started stacking, I was only going for silver rounds. I just wanted to get as much physical silver content in my possession as possible, and I didn't want to pay a higher premium. A couple months later, I decided to switch on over to silver eagles instead of silver rounds, just because I figured... You know, the premium isn't really all that much higher, and I am getting a significantly higher level of trust, respect, the ability to be recognized. I just figured Silver Eagles were probably a better way to go for me, in my opinion, and from my perspective. That's all this is. This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I'm a guy with a camera, but I am curious what are your thoughts? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.